Hi, today I'm going to show you the Sleek Easy Zoom Groom and Furminator, all grooming tools for cats. Now my cats are short hair, so this demonstration will be on short hair cats, but Lena here, she has kind of medium length hair. Um, she might technically be long hair, but she doesn't have long hair like a Maine Coon would. So the Furminator has a little button on the back which you can use to release the fur. I'll show you on Lena here. You can just stroke, go with the grain of the cat's hair. You can see that's coming out. And you might want a paper towel just to collect the hair. And that works pretty well. Now some people have concerns about does the furminator cut the hair. I've never had that happen, but I can't guarantee that it doesn't. Now the Zoom Groom is all rubber, no sharp points, and to groom the cat. So I'm going to get a different cat. But not much is coming off of her. Okay, got Charlotte with me now. Come here. You like to be brushed. She's weirded out because I moved the table and I cleaned it. Charlotte, you stay right here, honey. She didn't stay. Come here. I need a cat with fur. So I have Charlotte, who's weirded out because I moved the table. He, with the Zoom Groom, he's kind of have to push. Let's push it into the cat. Kind of have to use some force. You can see I'm getting fur off of Charlotte. So this one you kind of have to push, but it's just rubber. So it's not going to hurt the cat, but you have to put some effort into it, some force. And then sometimes it can clump up by their tail. And she's probably going to want to smell that. So we'll let her do that so I can demonstrate. So you just push and it works the fur up. And then you kind of have to use, just use your fingers to get it out. And then the sleek, easy, kind of do the same thing. Just kind of rub it down the cat. And once again, I just have, I'm testing this on short hair cats. Charlotte's kind of fluffy. I'm getting hair off of her. Now my indoor cats, they don't get mats. I don't know how well any of these really work with mats. The outdoor cat gets mats, but I have not tried these on him. He's mats because he's fat. So he gets mats by his rear end. You can see how that works. It's all kind of the same technique. This one you have to pull the hair off. I think the Furminator is a little easier because it holds the fur and the teeth. And then you can just push the button and pull the hair off. Now, I haven't brushed Charlotte in a couple days or so because I wanted to make this video for you. You can see how it works. All three of them think are okay. I like the Furminator because of the button push. My husband seems to prefer this one. But they all work. The You want to play with that? The sleek, easy the blade I think could be dangerous. I think it's kind of sharp. That's kind of a close up of the blade. It's kind of hard to see it. And here's a close up 
the Furminator. And then if you push the button, you can see the little blue blade comes out. And the Zoom Groom. It's just rubber that bends, but it works pretty well. There's nothing like you'd probably use this as a weapon or accidentally cut yourself. I think it's safe on the cats, but I don't know about having it laying around with children. But as you can see, it works. I like all three of these. But if I had to pick one of the three, I would pick the Furminator. Just because I like how it has that button. And the Furminator also comes in a smaller size. I have a video about that. Which you can watch if you want to see the difference between the small size and the big size. You can see Charlotte here kind of likes it now that she's gotten into it. I want to thank you for watching my video. I do appreciate that. If you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. And if you want to hear from me every week, you can sign up for the Catterday newsletter, which is free. Just go to thejoyofcats.com slash sign up. And there'll be a link down below too. Thank you for watching.